to another episode of Boombox Discovers. While our focus here at Boombox is very much on music and talents in Southeast Asia, we do keep our eyes and ears open to the music scene in Greater Asia. So, in this week's episode, we want to show some love for one of the leading centres of Asian pop music creation, Taiwan. Before the rise of Korean pop or K-pop broke barriers and dominated the Asian music culture, Mandarin pop or M-pop was the most popular genre that crossed different markets. For years, superstars like Jay Chao, Wang Li Hong, Zhou Lin Sai, SHE, May Day, and many more garnered huge fan bases all over Asia. They consistently sold out concerts not only in Asia, but in major Western cities such as Atlanta, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, London, and Sydney. For a long time, Taiwan was the place to get the best songs written, produced, and marketed in the region. But now, M-pop has been overtaken by the popularity of K-pop in the last 10 years, where quality production, uniformed choreography, alluring looks, some of the catchiest songs you'll ever hear, and unbelievable talents have propelled K-pop to the top. You know, the most viewed video on YouTube is Sai's Gangnam Style, with over 2.4 billion views. Double that of the run-up video, Baby by Justin Bieber. But going back to Taiwan, we here at Boombox feel that this is a hub where sincere storytelling, genuine songwriting, and unique voices are bursting to get out of the scenes of the ever-evolving music scene. And here are three acts we hope you'll enjoy. is a radio DJ and indie pop artist who was formerly the lead singer of the now disbanded Natural Q. Wa's brand of quirky, self-deprecating lyrics coupled with pop beat and her soaring voice make for some fun, bright and colorful songs and videos. Cosmos People, or Yu Zhouren in Mandarin, is an indie pop band formed by four friends who attended high school together. The original drummer and bassist both left, but the band carried on with good replacements and continued to make their brand of jazz funk music. Soda Green, or Su Da Lu in Mandarin, has already crossed over to the mainstream in the Greater China region. But they're on our list because we hope that our viewers in non-Mandarin speaking markets can discover this great band. Soda Green's main vocalist and songwriter, Wu Qingfeng, is prominent for his poetic lyrics, unique performing style, and wide vocal range. There are simply too many talents from Taiwan for us to include in a single Boombox Discovers episode. But I hope you enjoyed this anyways. We would love to hear from you about any talents that you've discovered and I'll see you next week. Bye! Email us, tweet us, or comment down below. Send us videos no longer than 90 seconds of anything or anyone that you find showcase worthy. And your finds may just be featured on a future episode of Boombox Discovers.